So, um, we are at the spot where we have the ship upgrade. What do you be needing today? Want to introduce yourself by all means, go right ahead. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I don't have. Yeah, but. You guys. I hope they get pleasure or <laughs> Whatever, I told them my name, they'll figure it out. Yes, well, he's a friend of mine. Um, by the way, on YouTube, despite my best efforts, on YouTube I go by the name of Ionis. Um, do you want to call you that? Sure. No, I don't really care. You can call me by the name if you want me to. Um, I'm going to call you whatever comes to my mind, but I want to take it like, hey, fuck it. Alright. Um, um, so, in any case, I care to continue too much, so. Um, well, I'm thinking I might release these as, uh, with the mature flag kind of So that only has a few feet. Um, but I don't personally think it's supposed to be something that is well, like, oh my god, I'm going to start choking you just because I'm perfect at going to hear them. They're going to hear them. Dude, if you put the mature flag on it, we'd be, we'd be fine all the way up to the next Oh, yeah. Um, the thing is, is except for Ursing, this game doesn't really have much in the way of, like, it's only suitable for mature audience. I mean, this, I wouldn't say that I, that I hate the role should play this game, because God no, but, uh, I think I was, oh shit, I don't even know what you're talking about. Is it, is it sex? Is it Ah, um, I don't pay attention to it because I have enough that I don't care. <laughs> <That's not cool. laughs> but I do know that I was a pretty young person when I was first now. Like, well, okay, whatever. You're older than I am. I was a young person when I was first Okay. Well, you know, I am much older, so... By the way, that's rock. No! Um... Uh, Actually, some of these are iceberg, and sometimes if you blow open the iceberg with your front cannon, or even your side cannon, whatever, um, it will, well, first of all, it kills all these miniature ships with the wave that crashes out. Um, and second of all, it might have a Some of them are even specifically not as good. We have a Check this one, check what this one, check this one. Yeah. And I am trying to get a buttload of crap so I can, like, basically buy all the stuff at once. Like, your boat is significantly better than this. Oh, yeah, those are just, those are the, actually, the wimpiest pieces of crap in the entire boat section of gaming. Well, I really shouldn't be saying shit. I know there are going to be people, who every time I say boat, they're going to be like, Arr, you did it again! Um, like, you're pissed off. Well, oh, I mean, so and I know me. that there are people like that because I am a person like that. I'm just so not like the boat ship. Ship. I don't care enough. I've been on a ship. I've been on a boat. And I know what the difference is. I just don't care. So, as far as I'm concerned, a ship is just a big boat. It's still a boat. Well, you can say, to be, and only one of you, you or the first mate are allowed to get that on the piece of wood. Another thing is, um, can't remember what game it is that I'm thinking of right now, but they have like carriers. Yeah, well, they are really far north. Well, you're right next to ice cubes. And it's not letting me, like, jump on the water. Like, you know. It's slippery. So? That doesn't mean that I can't, you know, put my elbow up there and, like, slip lift. Well, I can try. I can try. And, you know, I'm smart enough that I'm not going to keep trying when I can tell that I'm going to slip and cock my, uh, cock my... So, uh, you can stop if you're watching this video. Uh, put in a slip off the iceberg and I should lose. Oh, yeah, I'm in game, I'm complaining about how this guy is just not to work, actually. Oh, no, dude, you know they wanted to climb up that little hole. Obviously. That's why you put it there. Well, I didn't put it there, Ubisoft put it there. I was trying to get to the thing behind me. Don't blame others. I'm not blaming others, I'm blaming, blaming the creators of the game that they're forcing me to play. Okay, they're not forcing me to play it, they're forcing, forcing me to deal with the annoying system. Forcing me to take their money and play their games against my will. 
Well, forcing me to open my wallets and walk down the street. I'm not complaining about the Stop it. Okay, stop it. I'm not complaining about the money. I paid the money. Obviously, I thought this was worth the money. I don't know why, but I did. Um, the thing that I'm complaining about is that I get the $60 worth of game, but I also get $20 worth of gather which I didn't pay for this. <laughs> which means... Twenty, which means like there's getting about eighty dollars of value right there. <laughs> well, only if I didn't think that twenty dollars worth of eggs, you think a third of this game, I absolutely fucking hate, and most of it is controls. Eighty p from added to sixty in the twenty. Yes, they are. They're the whole game. Sixty percent. No, I paid sixty dollars for the game. Sixty dollars of the game is good. The extra twenty dollars that you did for me, because it wasn't worth that much. I don't know what no, I'm doing with this. It, that's the part. That's the part that you got wrong. This is a forty dollar game being sold for sixty dollars because twenty dollars in this game sucks ass. <laughs> About ten of those dollars go are Ubisoft. Is that, that's the docking point for the island, which is just... It doesn't have there. a docking point, I'm trying to get as close as possible, because I fucking hate to in this game. Um, as I continue on and continue to get things, I actually get really, really close at times to where I actually can jump out onto the beach. But you always have to swim back to the goddamn thing moves when you go, ah! Like, stop means way anchor. There you go. Yeah, I love those things. They mean I don't have to swim back. <laughs> but, like... When you told the thing to stop and you let go of the wheel, that thing should have dropped anchor and not moved from that spot. Is that what it stopped? Wait, it's the British ship. Uh, that's not a ship that is on my side, I guess. It wasn't doing anything to you. Okay, it's a red mark on me. It is now because you shot it. Uh, they don't change colors. Uh, no matter how much you shoot a blue mark, it's always a blue mark. Well, what about the yellow mark? Some of us could be a bad guy, but. Yellow marks are their field of vision to the I had no idea. That guy was just like sailing on past, you checked him and said British, and you're just like, okay. That was wild. I didn't. I don't think I noticed that he was British. I just saw enemy and fired. They're like, hell! Actually, I think I saw enemy with loot that I want. Oh, that one? And I'm like, okay, well, because I'm pretty sure at this point in the game, I'm just like, I have a boat. I have to stay a really long way to get to the next point. I might be able to finish travel, but I'm not sure. I probably not. So since I'm not doing a lot of sailing, let's see some ships, dude. That'll be fun on the way. <laughs> so basically, oh, I think so. I'm pretty sure that what I'm doing at this point is I'm sailing to the next marker on the map and trying to sink every ship ship that I encounter that isn't a friendly along the way. Did you play, um, yeah, you played Skyrim. Yeah. I totally played through Skyrim one time. Yeah. And never finished it. Just one time the entire game. I've done that. The only fast travel I was allowed was the carriages, because I was canon. I didn't even do that. Um, I uh, actually, I did allow myself exactly one fast travel. To the place at the top of the mountain, and back from wherever I came from when I teleported. I had to drive a horse there. Nope. I, that was the only one that I actually allowed myself, and the reason why is to. That makes sense. I mean, come on. That's where you foos. That's weird. You just <laughs> foos teleport up there. No, the first thing. The, well, the very first power that you do up there is foos. Not the whole thing, just foos. Um, and then they teach you the one that makes you go fast. I like that. Yeah! Do you know my favorite? I love it when you get all three words for it. My favorite roar for, uh. My favorite, uh, dragon shot for my game. Was it the mask that went yeah, through? Yeah, I think, I think you chuckled too <laughs> in the game. I love glitches sometimes. There's just something fucking funny. So, uh, my favorite shot in that game was the shot that makes you not die. Like, you're invulnerable for a few seconds after oh. shouting. Right. Um, I love it because I will just shout and jump off mountains. <laughs> and then if, if the shout runs out before I hit the ground, because you can't shout in the air, I've tried. <laughs> uh, 
don't know. Just shout when you jump off the mountain. If your shot runs out before you hit the ground, it was meant to be. Just take the bet. <laughs> Do you go for the big shot or the little shot or the middle shot? Or is there only one? Because I don't think I ever had that one. I don't know. I think there was a three letter the first time. But like there was only you had to have all three? Maybe, I don't know. I'm not even sure. You know what? I still have it. I've got I've got it modded to ship too. Yeah, dude, me too. You know, one of my favorite mods is uh, play the no fast travel with um, war mode turned on okay. so that there's like warring armies everywhere. I like that one. Did you ever see the Civil War one? Um, it was kind of so. similar, but there was like storyline shit too. Yeah, uh, I had that one and the other one at the same time. So it was like. Uh, Hey, I tried that. The computer I had at the time could not handle that much shit happening at once. Yeah. And I don't mean like question stuff. I mean on screen stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, I was talking about so many NPCs just. Well, my favorite, like, TV, the no fast travel rule. Um, but on the war zones. And there's this uh, another mod that's my favorite mod in the entire game. Okay. It's alternate start locations. I love that one. Except for the fact that, like, for some reason, it glitches on sometimes. Like, I don't, I think there's actually one that always glitches on me on, but I choose a different one when I play, so I'm not sure which one it is. Well, this one, the one and I have on is, like, go on. It's like literally a random spot on the map. I always do random because random is actually it picks one of those at random. The one that I the one there are random. also some that you can only get by doing random because it's just a random place, no stock story at all. Um, but yeah, that's actually why I don't know which one this is out on hand. Just move the one because I always choose the random too. Actually, the first time I chose the one where you start out um, in the ship that's there, stuck underwater. There was another one that I combined with that to make it not terrible. Uh, and the one that I combined with it is there's this mod for classes where you can choose what class you are and it makes like certain abilities level up faster and right. certain ones level up slower. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's like the Oblivion style of classes. Okay. Um, but I combined it with that because you get like this, like a little bit of starting gear. So like, you choose the assassin class, you start off with a bow, a dagger, and leather armor. You saw that with some stuff you didn't know. Yeah, it wasn't very good stuff, but it was... If you were in a position where you had to fight a leader, it was just sometimes. I don't know, um, there was one time when I started out, and apparently I was a hunter in the woods, because I had a bow and arrows, and I was game around, and I was should we use a different alternate starting a different alternate starting line, because mine and was literally just... You're here. Good luck. It might be just a good version of the same mod. Maybe. Because, you know, it was continuously updated for a while. But yeah, the version that I was playing, at least, uh, there's another dude that's like, fuck this grappling hooks, I'm not waiting for that, I'm swimming over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, even NPCs get fed up with the, like, the time this game takes or something. Well, now, I love that because, like, just the journey to Helgen. The, the city where the yeah. first dragon showed up. Yeah. It was always so much fun. You're like, oh my god. And it took forever too, but it was still awesome. And the, like, the interesting, like, I would have never found these quest quests. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, at like, one point I'm like going through and there's, it's, it's random battles. It's like, over here is werewolves fighting giants. And I just, I sit there and I watch, like, and I try to, like, get some pop shot arrows in, and then they get mad at me. One of the more fun ones that I watched was, um, this, I think it was the Storm Uh, no, no, it was Vampires and Nickerhancers. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 sorry. It was all three, 
But it started out as the vampires and the necromancers. Some folks joined in against the necromancers. Then when the necromancers were done, they started killing the vampires. <laughs> oh, I, I had one. It was just... It was too obvious. It was like bandits versus somebody. It's like another human enemy that, that was not an enemy. The were, weirdest like, one that I ever saw was like the, the red dudes. I don't remember if they were like, they were kind of like animals, but they were all dressed in red all the time. The Dark Brotherhood was. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's been too long. I don't remember. But uh, they were interesting. Yeah. I don't know. And they were apparently like, enemies with everyone else, because I did not see a time when they weren't fighting with them. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, here's the big thing with the army, <laughs> though, is uh, most of those things, even if they're not normally aggro against each other, they, they automatically get, are. If, if they're the two armies, they get more aggro, period. There are other things that are like that, too, though. Uh, I mean, the, uh, the biggest battle I saw was these two armies, yeah. like bandits versus stone plugs or something, early enough in the game where I had chosen a side. Right. And there was, like, just three giants hanging out in the middle of it, demolishing everything. You know, there's some friends of mine, uh, they still play Skyrim, apparently. Um, I I think know, I, the only version of it that I know for a fact is like the Xbox version. Um, wow. I haven't told that each one of them has a piece of it. Anyway, they play Stone Cold every time. They, like, made a Facebook page about we are, like, Stone Cold and Skyrim players. I think I see that. Yeah. Um, the material personally, I actually really hate that he's not going to want to. Now, that, that's a lot. Go in the door. Go in the door. That's a lot of folks. Apparently not. Um, and the fact that I can't is really pushing me off right now, because it's like, I have to face. It's like, I can't get to the door. Unfortunately, my crew are, like, the only people in the entire team that I could not punch in the face. <laughs> like, even just random people on the street, I can just randomly bash at them. You've seen it happen. Well, I mean, granted, it's in the future as far as... Hearts are being played, but they'll we'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was I saying? Um, oh, they only play Stone Cold. Oh, yeah. I feel like, I feel like people miss out. I'm, more often than not, I do actually end up being on the Stone Cold. I don't think I've ever been on the Imperial side, actually. I actually almost but, always play the Imperial side, because, like, in Morrowind, Elder Scrolls 3, I played an Imperial Guard. Well, the really funny thing is, like, when I was originally playing Skyrim, you kind of, like, got sucked into the you have to choose one side or the other, I can't say that. But once I did the mods, it was just, like, it's one of the things that I could do, and I might get to it eventually. And the thing is, is even when it was one where I got the quest, like, almost instantly, it was like, you need to go either way the over here, or way the like over here. And I'm just like, I'm not going to either of those places right now, they are both too yeah, far I, away. I was did the, like, the whole quest chain with White Run first. Because literally it's on the way, and they're like, hey, go here and tell them about the dragons. But to be honest, like, I think it was my first, like, five or six playthroughs. I swear to God, I beat the dragon story before I even started the Civil War. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, you do that, or you, uh... And the reason why is not because I, and it's specifically because I didn't kill them. I really didn't give a rat's ass. Hi, I'm the dragon board. Here's a dragon. I have to kill it. Oh, you have had human affairs. Have or not a dragon. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, like, I have a big brand problem. new person that just, I'm suddenly, like, destined to kill this damn thing, and I have no idea what's going on, I'm just, oh, fucking hell, hey, I don't have time to deal with this, too. I was just really, really I'll Tell you what, I'll get to it when I get to it. As a matter of fact, the funny thing is I have words like this, level, and there's a place where I did that. I went all the way through, got the yeah, dragon, walk by the time the I got to the Civil War thing, the storyline had completely finished. There was a really like nice every time I went into the Imperial place, like I hadn't even started it yet, um, because it, it, the, with that mod install, the Civil War happens without me, whether you attend to it or not. And so when I finally decided, okay, I'm going to go side. look at them, I was closer to the Imperial side, so I had to listen to them first. When I got there, oh, the dude from the other side was also there, so I went out to the school where I could ask them without having to go to both places. <laughs> <'Cause> she <laughs> was winning, <laughs> but they were fighting each other, and it was just. The two of them oh, yeah. and their, you know, <laughs> right hand, I'm going to say man, even though it's technically inaccurate, whatever. 
Um, and it was like, okay, so I, there's a spell that you, that you can do that makes you calm. It only works on them if you have the highest version of it. So I just calmed them the fuck out for as long as that lasts the physical the way it out. It. And I stuck to them. And I'm like, okay, so I think the Civil War's over and the storm close to one. But I have to go through all the storytelling bits to actually get to that point so I can watch him kill the dude. And it's like, I'm going to go play in the, the, the forest of the, the cats in that other mod. Boom, cats to elsewhere. I love yeah. that mod. I love the extra story mod because I there play Skyrim of, so much that I don't. There were a couple, like, there were a couple other uh, mods that were, like, having new plays with new stuff on it once that I played. But not, no. And they were both, like, really, really popular. And they were supposedly, like, There huge. was the Pirate, like, Island one, though. I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't like, I didn't like either of them. I thought they were fully written and also the maps were fully designed. Um, I didn't say they were good. I said they were fun. The Moonpath one I thought was pretty awesome, though. Oh, yeah, I, I really like uh, the voice. I'm surprised. Like, the rating thing that was, like, these are the, the ones that are the most popular thing. It had, like, when I looked at this, it had moons that were, like, seven or something. And the two that I, the other two I'm talking about, they were numbers one and number two. And I'd already had moons that, because I was like, fuck yeah, I want to try that out. I also like having the big giant tiger following me around. And significantly more useful than Olivia. Um, what's that, the, the guy that you fight in the jail cell? I don't know. You get a tiger. Oh, well, it there's that thing elsewhere. It's an actual tiger. It's like, sup, I'm a tiger. Rah, rah, rah. Well, there's, there's a, there's a mod, um, that all it does is add a follower. A single follower. Uh, he's, uh, the most popular follower you can get in the game that I'm aware of. Um, uh, he's a cat dude. And you find him in the jail cell of the city where you wake up after you drink the grog with that one dude. You get to the drinking contest with the guy, he's actually one of the gods, well, demons, whatever, the bad guys. Yeah. The, well, I don't actually think they're bad guys, like, the crazy one, they the, the, the really interesting, I'm not even sure what the hell that is. Because <laughs> yes, that was fun DLC. Jail Gora uh, is the, the Daedric God of Madness, Yeah, but he's not actually the oh, God of Madness, he's the God of Order. There's a guy. Uh, he was crazy because he did his job too well. There's a guy um, who did a mod who actually it changes the, the the loading screen like things that are said to like quotes from him. They're not actually quotes; they're just funny shit that he made up. But it's so awesome. <laughs> and the funny thing is, sometimes they make sense in context. Do you play uh, Oblivion? Um, Oblivion is a uh, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think I think we should actually go back to paying attention to this game though, because we've been ignoring it for a while in favor of Skyrim. <laughs> we talk about mods. There's is there any mods in this game? I don't I don't know if any Assassin's Creed uh, game has ever had mods, but that was because it's Ubisoft. And they're like, hey, I was like, it's gonna be kind of cool. But it's gonna be awesome. You know, the one mod that I want to see for. Uh, for this game, uh, Spider Man. Like, like, just take Ezio or whoever's the assassin <laughs> out of the game. <laughs> Replace them with Spider Man. Spider -Man. <laughs> you know, um, there you are. You actually can't kill anybody, you just keep them in the face, they fall unconscious. You know, there you are. You have to assassinate them by tying them up in front of a building. Okay, okay, so, um, just for this, I'm forcing you to come back with me. Okay. And you are going to, um, actually, we'll flip a coin for this. One of us is going to play Ultimate Spider-Man <laughs> while we record and talk about it. Um, just pretend it's a Assassin's Creed. Now, well, I think that Ultimate Spider-Man is actually one of the really good Spider-Man games. Comparatively. And no, it, we wouldn't be pretending it's a Assassin's Creed. We'd be playing Spider-Man. It'd be a different Let's Play series. Um, but I'm going to make you do it. I don't know which one of us is going to play. We'll flip, we'll, actually, you know what? I, I'll take we'll turns. flip the coin now. Um, we'll, we'll take turns because it doesn't matter. We'll both be talking the whole time. Well, if we take turns, when I get my turn, you'll never get it back because I'm really good at that game. You're really good at that game. So head to tail. suck balls. I'm going to time it up the turns. You can have some heads. Okay. All right. So you got heads, so you get to pick. Okay. I'll play until I get bored, and then you can beat the game. <laughs> 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 
Well, I've already beaten it a couple times, so that's not I mean, again. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a thing I want to chase down. Right off the building. Yeah, I'm not going that way. I don't know where I can go. Dead. Nope. But I got it. Nice. I heard of it. But, you know, regenerating health and all. Yeah, Unity doesn't have regenerating health, um, but you can do a roll move. You don't take that much damage. I already played what's going on with the, the first one, the Dark Souls, one? and all those games. I know how to roll to mitigate damage. I know, right? <laughs> Press circle to not die. <laughs> hope that you don't die. <laughs> like, oh no, I've been hit once. There goes all of my health. That's even worse than Bloodborne. Oh, you know the thing, um, do you, do you have, um, Dark Souls on the PC? Yeah, the first one. Okay, they so what the second one, but... Okay, so I have an idea. What we can do, and this is up to you, is, um, I also have Dark Souls on the PC. And it is possible once you get to a certain point to be on another player's server. If there's any way at all to choose that person, and you can, like, multiplayer this bitch. It's really, really... So what you can do is that uh, the game is kind of broken up into sections. Oh, uh, servers. Okay. It's broken up into servers, and they break those down further. So what we have to do is, like, say I'm level 40, you also need to be about, like, level 39 or 34. Go on ahead, Shane. Right. Right. Yeah, so you need to be basically the same level, yeah. which okay. is really, really easy in Dark Souls. Yes, you pick a new level. Right. Uh, that's the first thing. Well, I would think the this, instant we get to the point where we can do the multiplayer game stuff. Yeah, the game show does live. Yes. Uh, Isn't that free? It's, oh, well, yeah, it's free because you're paying somebody else for getting access, and you don't really use it for anything except its own little keeping track of, like, friends. No, you need games, games Yeah, it's for live for games that are games with Windows games. I know. For online play. I know, but it's... it's Mine had to be signed up to my Xbox Live account. It's basically, well, yeah, they combined those. Um, I don't remember if they combined them at 360 or at 1, but... I don't remember, only because the 1 has not interested me since its conception. But either way, I mean, every single publishing company does that. Go on the channel. Valve started it with Steam, but they also, like, have games that they sell that aren't just from them, which is why they're the most popular on the planet. That's it. That's, that's me, I already know. Yeah. I have like 130 games on Steam. Uh, but Rockstar has it, Ubisoft has it, freaking EA has it, Microsoft has it. I mean, every one of the big AAA publishing companies has their own version of basically Steam without the games. So yeah, you gotta be in the same, in the same level range. And then Microsoft will oh, just have the same thing as well. Oh, what happened to that wall? You need the same like level range, so and then you need to place, so you can write this little thing on the ground, right. and then the other one, whoever needs to beat the boss next, needs to find that thing. Which means we have to be on the same like server set, right? and within the same level range, and it's just a lot. So, no. But the game is old enough now, so you'll probably be able to do it without a whole lot of problems. And Worst comes to worst, I can almost guarantee with the age of the game, Pirates to figure out how to um, put it on a top player. Yeah. Oh. And we can just land each, fake land each other. And that would well, the key that we see on the same server. We'll figure it out, yeah. But, oh, is, is it really just for the bosses? I thought you could, like, come well, in and be there for as long as you want. You can. The whole sections are broken up from, say, you beat boss A. The second section of the game is to beat boss A and B. So everything between there is you an section. So if I put my down my whole thing, it will be in the section. You pop it open, I can help you through the whole thing. And then once we beat it for you, do it again. For you, for me. The annoying part of the channel is that you can always have because I'm not important. Oh, that oh, would bore everyone. <laughs> That's how fast it is, because I'm pretty good at that first game. Yeah. So I should be like, can I beat the boss? Come on, some of me so I can beat the boss for you. <laughs> nah, dude, I know how to build myself. Well, based on... Okay, admittedly, I don't... I haven't really played any of that. I think it's actually a new genre of its own, really. 
I don't know if, it, it's, if people it's, agree with me or what the, it would be called, but I'm pretty sure that it's more of a, of a revival of the old oh. genre. Oh, really? Which one? Oh. The hardest balls game is that it's... Are so, you talking about... I mean, um, so they used to do these games where they just, just artificially made yeah, like, harder for no reason. Yeah, that was Dark Souls. It's a little bit of exaggeration. So you're saying that Dark Souls is a Nintendo hard game? Okay, well, I can agree with that. It's a Nintendo hard game with, like, a bet. It's just that it happens to be in 3D with really good graphics as opposed to 8 bit side scroll. Yeah. A lot of, like, the old castle crawler games that were really hard, and it's like, ah! Oh. You get hit one shot. It's what castle would have been. Yes, it had fucking trees. Lord of Shadows was the worst game. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I think it was Castlevania 64. That was the only Castlevania uh, game that I played that was in 3D. And and I think that was, that was just so awful. I don't even know. Like, there's an interview for you. I talk about this game. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know which of these parts you're going to keep. Well, see, here's the thing, is um, apparently right now we're doing more like Yasu's thing, because Yasu does what he calls the Let's Crown Out series, where one of us has recorded, well, either he or his friend has recorded the game, and then they don't you, and then they basically watch the game together, quote unquote, while talking to each other. And about whatever. they start out talking about the game, and they kind of end up talking about whatever. Sometimes they're actually playing the game while they're talking about it. So See, I like, feel like that's, that would be way more fun, is just have us sit here and be like, uh, like, let me have a go like this for like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll there is a game that I do want you to try one finger does it. Have you played it? You can tell me about it. Um, I haven't tried it yet, mostly because... I ran to the PlayStation 4. Yeah, I don't have time for anything else. <laughs> I paid money for a set amount of time. Yes, I under, I'm understanding you. I'm getting my money's worth. <laughs> um, Don't stop me. Yeah, I'm actually refusing to buy the PS4 or the Xbox. Okay, so. um, and the reason why is because it's neither... Better. Actually, the reason why is because neither of them uh, have any games that are worth paying that much fucking money for a machine that I don't really need. That's what I was like. So I called Ratchet Center, and they're like, yeah, you can totally rent one for a month for 80 bucks. I mean, I'm going to be wrong. That game that you rented with it is, like, fun and shit, but it's not worth buying a PS4 I'm not knowing. Um, to me, because I... I do hope that they... Re I do hope that they, like, port the damn thing over the PC so I can play because it, it looks really fun. They will eventually. I mean, the gun thing is kind of weird, but it makes sense. I, I the hunter thing you have to teleport also, back is annoying as shit. Why does it come in places? The hunter's dream. Come back to campfires. The campfires were good. The, the campfires were pretty good. Um, oh my god. I, I don't How mind. How many times do you have to load? <laughs> yeah. I like the campfires where I sit down, I have full health, and replenish my stuff in my stash. Do those three things. <laughs> that was nice. We're good. The teleporting the places was nice too. Um, I don't mind the hunter's dream for a hub. Well, yeah, but I don't mind it to teleport places, and I don't mind it to have to go there to level up or upgrade my stuff. All of the stuff that is not like I'm going out killing you related, I don't mind being on the stream. Right. The one thing that I really, really want to be able to do is sit down, replenish my stuff from my storage, because it gets to the point where I'm like, hey, I've used 16 health potions and I picked up none. I need to go back to the hunter's dream because it threw two load screens just to get that. Yeah. And refill my own. Well, this, like, basically my opinion is, like, um, so, Dark Souls, which is literally the only one that I want to play, because um, I never bothered to get new Souls for the PlayStation. I have it if you want to borrow it. I think it's actually even harder. We discussed that um, earlier. Uh, and because I like Dark Souls 2, I just, I haven't even finished Dark Souls 1 once, so I'm not going to buy it. I, but um, I, what I can say is that the stuff that I wish, the stuff that you have to go to, like, the central area, where the people that don't kill you are sitting in Dark Souls, the stuff that you can do there, pretty much the only stuff that I would be willing to go to the Hunter's Dream for. Well, that is... 
Nothing. In the first Dark Souls game, there's literally just a guy that's like, oh, hey, you should go that way. No, there's a cool little area around there. And there's the fire keeper who upgrades your flask. Yeah, and if you want to go to the smith, and you have to go to the other side of the map. Oh, I know. To, well, actually, no. There is a smith right under the fire keeper yeah. trying to go all the way down. Pretty close, and you don't have to get, you don't have to actually get to any people yet. Yeah. Well, there's um, no and then there's, there's the dude that you beat stuff. And he's on top of the stuff. Which isn't that far away, and only a couple of people. And also, that's the closest that you can get to that guy in the first place. Hey, if we play to the game, are we going to do some, like, ridiculous playthrough, or just dick around? I don't know what you mean. If we play through Demon Souls, are we going to do, like, a ridiculous playthrough, or what do you mean by ridiculous? Well, there are totally, like, other things we can do if we're like, hey, this playthrough, we want to all just run around naked with two-handed swords. Oh, we so you mean do things like put on, like, limits of challenges? Not even that, or you want to dress like fucking whatever. There's playing with special conditions. Yeah, do we want to do that? Do we have like a desire for like? Here's one thing that I always had really a lot of fun doing uh, was fighting the hardest bosses that I could uh-huh. as early as possible. Okay. Um, and basically, like the story goes, hey, do this thing, and you're like, I right. do. Like twenty minutes ago, guys. Do you know how to? Uh, okay, well, in that case, um, there is a the first boss that you encounter. You can like get his weapon to do some shit. I want yeah, his weapon. Break his tail off. His weapon's actually really cool. Actually, it's awesome. You did this. I have not been able to get his weapon. I want his weapon, and I know you can only put on the first fight that you're supposed to run away from. Because if you don't put on that, and you can't get the weapon at all. Oh, you mean the dragon? The first boss. That's not the first boss. So the far first as I'm gonna see the first boss, the first, first boss. motherfucker goes, Ah, you're gonna die! Ah, you're gonna die! No. <laughs> the guy that you're talking about is the dragon. He's not a dragon, he's just a giant motherfucking big fucker. Okay, so you start the game in the first game. Oh! The very first boss. I know exactly what you You haven't even escaped from the prison yet, first boss. The easiest way to do that is you, uh. When you start the game, you can choose what your gift is. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, Choose the Black Fire box and you can kill them with just those. Yeah, well, I want to do it without you. <laughs> so, you, you can't play multiplayer in that the tutorial zone. I know. So, you want to punch him in the butthole. <laughs> the butthole? That's the only way to kill him. You have to stamp the He's like the way you pronounced it. At his butthole. You said butthole, which is just funny as hell. It almost it's, sounded like you said bottle, bottle, like you freak out of it. But that was. Insert fist, <laughs> bottle. That is a horrible visual. Hey. There's actually a whole running joke with another friend of mine. We use the bottle as, uh, as synonymous with bottle. It's so horrible. And, uh, he sent me this thing. It's like, the king has left the country in search of his golden, his, of his golden bottle. Trying to work, but I don't really. Okay. At least I'm not freezing the death box with a bit of water, but it's still around the time. I feel like they make boats significantly faster in this game than they are in real life. Oh, uh, that's what the travel speed's for. It's specifically for it because you can go Because. You'd be like, hey, it even says, like, it even says, like, it even says, like, if you're not in travel speed, it's a push this button to use Abstergo's travel speed to get places quicker. I don't think those are the exact words, but it's basically along those lines, and all of the messages come on the bottom right of the screen. And that's the same area. Well, I mean, One thing that I don't like, um, I think it was three, but the issues, and then, um, this one and Black Flag were both, uh, it depended on which one looks, but I, I preferred that you get to choose which weapon you're firing from your ship. As opposed to, like, you look to the, you look forward and you're firing to watch the front. You look to the side, you're doing the side cam, you behind you, you're doing the back one. Which, you know, if you're an idiot, it's obviously easier. But the one where you push the keypad to choose some of the people that are watching us play uh-huh. weren't able to do it themselves, so they gave up and they decided to watch somebody else do it. Okay. That's your, well, I mean, I don't know. 
I do that sometimes. See, I'm okay. just, I don't say that you're an idiot to be insulting. I say that, you, that you're an idiot to, you know, in this particular instance, because the knowledge that you think and the knowledge that is true are it's different. <laughs> are different. In this particular instance, at least for this fact, you're an idiot. Everybody is an idiot. Some people are just idiots of different things. More often. Some people yeah. And the more often things are um, So, yeah. Stupid people. That's what I'm being insulting. I don't know if that's what I'm insulting. <laughs> well, I mean a different thing by stupid than I mean by idiot. I mean the same thing. You're a fucking moron. That's what I mean by stupid. That's what I mean by pretty much everything that comes out of my mouth. Well, you know, uh, and sorry, by you I mean I. Oh, I know. It's say all the time. I know, but that's a good thing, because it means I never have to. There was a boat there. It's your boat. Yeah, you know, I've, I've actually said multiple times that yeah. people are going to yell at me for calling me a boat. Yeah, well, you've already called it a boat. You were committed. Well, the thing is, it's, you know, it's your ship, if you want to be. Actually, if I were going to say it's mine, I would use the word vessel. Ah, uh, no. Yeah? The character's your vessel. He's the one that no, he my avatar. goes about your will. No, that's my avatar. Do you want to be my avatar? God, no. It's a vessel. What did that come from? Have you ever heard that song? No, and I don't want to now. Okay, well, that's a thing that you're going to do. Have you ever watched The Hill? Uh, uh, it was a marginally fun show about uh, things and stuff. No, it was about these people that play MMOs. Uh huh. Oh, well, that's why I've never seen it. I hate MMOs. Oh, no, I There's saw like the first couple seasons of it, and I saw it because. Um, it had that one chick that was in, uh, 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 Eureka. Oh, what? The Asian chick? Uh, there was a, uh, there was a, um, there was a, a, a very interesting actress in Eureka, um, uh, kept dying for some reason. She was a redhead. She also happened to be in the guild. Eureka was an awesome show. I and I think she had a pretty good part in it. Uh, the guild sucked. No, that's, that's just my opinion, and I know people disagree. There's, there's not, that's not what I want to talk about, though. That show, yeah. they made a song for it, oh, and it was Do You Want to Date My Avatar? No. By the chick. Well, the that's always going to be my answer. <laughs> <laughs> and they had, like, this freestyle rap about MMOs, like... You know, I'm apparently going in circles in the game because I know for a fact that we have seen that exact same site before. Because I was watching out of the corner of my eye, I watched you run down there, go back to your ship, climb back up the mountain, go all the way around to here, go oh. And now I'm checking, run and jump right back into the bush that you jumped into the first time. No, I'm going to go, I'm like, where the hell, how do I get up there? Because that's, that's why I'm going around in circles. I'm literally just trying to figure out how to get up there. And I finally found it. Go this way. Um, no, this is like, and, uh, but I can find it there. So I did find it, it just, and I'm not actually sure how to get without falling into that place. I don't know how to go. But I have now found the way back. <laughs> you do now. I know, I know the way I was supposed to go now. Man, you're going to jump off the split is what you're going to do. Yeah, and then I'm going to climb right back up. No, I'm not. I'm going to go get the the bottom. I don't need to climb up for that. Okay. Yeah. At least I'm pretty sure that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not going the wrong way right now. This is the first time I've seen this. Well, yeah. Not like you who actually played this earlier. This is like my second time, actually. <laughs> no, it's literally my second when I was playing, and now I haven't watched this um, yet. Because I... You need to watch it a few more times and you edit it. That is, part of the thing is like, I want them to be like... The me playing them and the me like going back through them and doing this bit um, are far enough removed that I don't remember exactly what I'm doing because that makes my conversation with myself more interesting. Hey, I'm here to make it more interesting for this. Oh yeah, but this is this is a different reason. Is that a bear? Where? Don't get owned by a bear. No, but the wolf. Oh, that's not even scary. No. I don't think I have the report yet. Do I have a report? Well, because that was...
Please fail. Nope. I got no way. Why do I have a one I never use that stupidity? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I think I don't have the rope dart yet. Because if I had the rope dart, he would have got a rope dart. The best thing about the rope dart is that one can fill on almost every other. Like, oh, there's an animal there. Now I have something to escape. Oh, there's an animal there. Now I have something to escape. Okay, it's, uh, it makes it so much easier. Oh, God. I was just use the rope dart like a dart. Um, that would be interesting, but not what you can. Or well, to actually have a grapple pole. I mean, there was a few games that I played it's where you get to have, like, but then you would all the fun of slowly and laboriously climbing up the building. Slow, voluptuous, parkour is sweat dream. I mean, oh god, no. I don't even think parkour is like climbing up sure because no matter how many angles there are. There are a lot of people with handholds in this game. This game. Uh -huh. This is not a reflection of reality. Not even close. I mean, I think it's super nice. No. I'm not surprised. No, no, of course not. See, the thing is, no game is ever going to be perfect in reality, no matter what. The reason why is the point of games is to have fun. If they weren't fun, they wouldn't be games. Is. They'd be interactive worlds. So, there is a point at which realism and fun cannot coexist any longer, and realism will always lose when it comes to video games. Unfortunately, that's not true of real life. It is. Not like real life, but uh, realism is. It hands down. In video games, it doesn't always, because it's not as fun. I don't know, I played plenty of plane simulating games. Oh my god. Those are for people who actually have fun flying planes, but for whatever reason, they can't be a real one. Me. I actually enjoy the flight simulating games a little bit. I, don't, I couldn't play them for like an hour at a time. I don't oh, dislike fun. them, but I don't think I've ever bought one in my entire life, and I don't like any of them enough to actually get like a full set. Oh, no. And I know for a fact that those games suck if you don't have control system. I played it with the control system at the time, and I will say it's more enjoyable, but I'm not that pigeons. Those aren't pigeons, I think those are serious. They didn't have grass balls. Well, they flew away instantly because they the, landed the inside of you. Well, see, before I got on that pole, I'm pretty sure the computer triggered to land on the pole event, which it has to go through the entire event before it can send them another, like, yeah, opinion. Yeah, because they don't have the animation for it. In the middle of trying to land, so. Yeah. And so I had to play for a whole animation, and then it's like, okay, so what's the next thing? Oh, there's the dude, he's within range. Like, fly away, fly away, fly away. So they land and instantly fly away. Although they don't have, like, a quickly fly away, it's just the one speed. Because that's all they ever do anyway, is land and fly away. You never really see them fly, except for the eagle. It just circles around anyway. Actually, it's not always the eagle at all. <laughs> Yes, eagles go for the final fight. Okay. I'm really hating this fucking house right now. Because I'm right here, right? There's a hole right there. If I'm not going to it. The other you is... Yeah. This is, this is actually kind of the reason why I'm glad that I'm not doing this recording like, while it's actually playing. Because... I'm angry. I put up with a lot of annoyance to enjoy this game. <laughs> I feel like we're going to have a bad time if we play. And the thing is, is I put up with a lot of annoyance to enjoy every Assassin's Creed game, because what I do is, I go through the story as I'm mandatorily required, and to the point where I get to where I can collect, hopefully, I've mean, it's not at least the vast majority of it. Then I go and I collect the vast, everything that I possibly can. Like, the only thing that I don't collect are things that I absolutely cannot collect yet. And then I finish the story. Oh my god. You are worse. Why? Because I don't mind completionism, but like if I were to watch this series 
and you were to go into completionist mode, I'd just be like, how many episodes do I have to see <laughs> to get to something marginally interesting? Well, see, the thing is, I don't know if I'm going to... There is literally like nobody else in this town except for you and the guards, and well, they have okay, no idea. So this, is, this is what I'm going to do. I, when I was starting this out, I was like, should I show the completionist stuff or not? Because there will be people who are like, where do I go to get all this stuff? And granted, all the icons are on the map, so that's not what they mean by where do I go. How do I find it? Yeah, how do I get to this particular spot so I can grab this damn thing? So, so for those people, is a good thing. So what I think I'm going to do is when I go into a station, I'm just going to upload every single one of the movies of the so let me take the trucks, and that's when I show the story. At the same time, that way the people who can't do it in this kind of time Well, you know what I mean. Name them. That way, people are speaking what to go watch more like all the shit. And watch more like all the shit. And this is the film that I ran into this point. Well, the problem is that most of the time when I look up, like, hey, I might have to go and put it in the computer. And then that guy could be the guy that's going to win the prompt. Ah, it's been a lot of work. What is this? 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 Well, and then the second thing is, the, I don't want to watch it for four times. Well, the completion is a thing that I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not, whatever, it's, it's your game. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to switch to a new recording. So, I will be back in a second um, for episode, what is this, three now?